In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the usage of the REST export and import service. More detailed information on these services can be found in the TIPCO JASPER Report Server REST API Reference Guide, specifically Chapter 10 for the export service and Chapter 11 for the import service. In Chapter 10 of the REST API Reference Guide, there are details on how to request an export, poll the export for the status, and also fetch the export output. You can also cancel the export operation if you wish. There is a table showing the export options available as well as the export parameters that you can use. I will be demonstrating exporting everything first and then later on just to export out a single report from the repository. So now let's just use a REST API client tool to test out the export services. The first part would be to request for an export and I'll use Postman that I download from getpostman.com but you can also use another one like ARC if you already have that. And as you can see here I've already pre-populated uh, for the sake of uh, minimizing the time for this video. I've already put in the URL uh, to the Jasper server with a rest underscore v2 slash export and using the post method as indicated in the uh, chapter 10. And uh, you must have uh, authorization header. Um, so if you're not familiar with Postman, you just go into authorization and you select basic auth. And I use, use username and password as super user. Um, and then I also specify the content type as application slash JSON. Uh, JSON format is the only supported format for this uh, web service call. So uh, I specify application, application slash JSON in here. And in the body, uh, the first thing I want to do is to uh, export everything out. So I specify the parameters with a colon and uh, put in square brackets with a double quote everything. And this is in JSON format as shown here. For the parameters you can also include uh, extra parameters in here to include the uh, access events, audit events and the monitoring events in the export but it's optional so I'm not going to do that. So all you have to do is just click on send and the response out of that would be export in progress with the export ID that you will need. So I'm going to highlight that and put in memory. So when you export everything out, you would expect it to take some time. And for you to check on the state of the export to see whether it's completed or not, you would just have to change the URL up here and put in the ID of the export followed by state and change this request method to a get and hit the send button page not found oh missing the export here try again okay so this is an indication that the export has succeeded and is finished now that the request for export has completed you will want to download the exported file from the server. If you, are, if you are wondering where on the server the exported file reside, it is located in the Tomcat temp directory and it's a temporary file with the export underscore prefix. So in order to download the file, we just specify a file name. So I'll specify everything dot zip and then I can click on send or send and download. The problem with the Postman tool is that uh, it doesn't save it as everything.zip is a limitation in the tool itself. But let's say if you were to copy this into a browser and run it, then it will prompt you with an everything.zip extension. But if you do it right here, then the result will be a response.zip 
instead of everything.zip. The export service has other export options and export parameters that you can use. So you don't have to export everything out. If you want to just export a report that's in a repository, then for example the products report, then you just go into the uh, properties of the report and copy the path, which you will paste into the URIs option in Postman. And as you can see here, I'm just going to export out the products report using the URIs option. And since it's just one URI, then I will not there, I will not need to pull the request. I'll just go straight into downloading the export file using the ID that's been generating in response. So I'll call this uh, report.zip. But this time I will just copy and paste this into a browser. So I'll use a Chrome browser and I will paste it. And as you can see now the report.zip comes back. So before was a response.zip, now it's actually the actual file name if you copy and paste it into a browser. Now that we have the exported catalog file, we can import the catalog file into a Jasper server repository database using the import service. The import service is detailed in chapter 11. Within this chapter, there is also a table of arguments or options that you can use with the import URL. And as my plan is to import in the report.zip, which is just one report, then I'll just use the update argument and I'll set it to true. If none of these options are specified, then they are assumed to be false. So going back to Postman, I use the post method and I specify the import question mark update equals true. Then in the headers, I use the basic authorization with super user and super user. And for the content type, I specify application slash zip because the file itself is in a zip format. In the body, I choose the actual report.zip file and I click on send and I get a response back with the import ID. I can poll for the state and change this method to get. And the input has succeeded. So switching back to the Jasper server, I'll refresh the repository. And as you can see here, the created date is now today. So this has been imported by the import service. This is now the end of the video. Hopefully it will give you a good overview of the export and import REST services. Thank you.